Thanks, Aaron. All right. Hey, it's Groundhog's Day. Happy Groundhog's Day. I think it'd be better if it was Beaver Day. Happy Beaver Day. We'll be a little more excited. Uh, yeah, so I'm really, I'm surprised by the turnout tonight. This is great. Um, it's really good to see the you know, people I gave ten dollars to to come tonight. <laughs> and I'm kind of surprised by the turnout because people I gave ten dollars to who haven't shown up yet. <laughs> like parking in this hellacious, you know, Thursday night Bloomington traffic. It's so crazy. Uh, so I'm a parent like Shonda, and um, I'm just curious. Some of you who are parents, um, I just wonder: Have you ever thought about? waking your kids up early on a school morning and making them a big breakfast and toast and scrambled eggs and blueberry pancakes and hot maple syrup and fresh squeezed orange juice and then helping them with their backpacks and walking them down the driveway and helping them on the bus and waving them as they drive to school and then running up the driveway as fast as you can and packing up the house before they get back on the bus in the home in the afternoon. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so my name is Sheila Mary McDermott Sype, and I know you're probably thinking, you know, based on my reddish hair, blue eyes, light complexion, you know, that I'm Jewish. Um, <laughs> what the hell is wrong with you people? I'm not, I'm not Jewish. I'm, I'm Jewish. So, just like Representative George Santos, that means I'm Catholic. <laughs> and uh, my, uh, my Irish Catholic parents did bestow on me the little name Mary, and, and that is in honor of the Virgin Mary. Some of you might know her as the Mother of God, right? So, yeah, there's, there's no, no pressure there. Um, but, you know, for those of you who may not be familiar with the Irish Catholic tradition and the cult of the Virgin Mary, I'm here to tell you that the Virgin Mary is a badass superhero. <laughs> and uh, she didn't come with trading cards. She comes with beads. <laughs> and beads are better. Fiction, <laughs> magic, beads. <laughs> so, uh, you know, the, the Virgin Mary, she's got this superhero status for a few reasons. I mean, she was born without original sin. So, you know, while the rest of us hooligans are responsible for Adam and Eve screwing up the whole garden thing, the Virgin Mary, she had nothing to do with it. <laughs> and, uh, well, that brings me to her nickname, um, the Virgin Mary. Um, so, you know, you gotta admit, most people earn their nicknames for some pr pretty stupid shit that they do. <laughs> well, Miriam, as her, you know, parents called her, uh, she got her nickname the Virgin Mary for something she didn't do, so, <laughs> so that's pretty cool. And uh, on top of that, when uh, the Virgin Mary died, her body didn't decay. Uh, no, it was like a Twinkie or like a McDonald's. <laughs> so to honor that, Irish Catholics, we celebrate uh, the Assumption of Mary. Now, when I say the Assumption of Mary, I don't mean when Mary was thinking, oh shit, Joseph's gonna be pissed when he finds out I'm pregnant. <laughs> um, no, the Assumption of Mary is when Mary assumpted into heaven. Yeah, that's right, she assumpted. And, uh, when I say assumpted, I mean she flew into heaven. And uh, she didn't fly in some invisible jet. <laughs> No, she got sucked up. <laughs> some, some golden ray or something. I mean, maybe, maybe she flapped her arm. <laughs> maybe, maybe she didn't. <laughs> Nobody knows. <laughs> I would have flapped. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so, and I, I know, I mean, you know, she's a superhero, but I think one of the things that makes her a superhero is I know the Virgin Mary has a wicked sense of humor because Irish Catholics have been worshiping her for over 2,000 years, and she's Jewish. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, uh, I grew up Irish Catholic, and uh, about the age of 22, I came out as a recovering virgin. And I just, I just want to give a big shout out to all the people who have helped me 
on this journey of recovery. And uh, some people let a hand, some people let more than a hand. And some people, well, they, they let a lot more than a hand. And uh, I just gotta, yeah, I gotta give a shout out to my husband, Dennis. He's, he's been with me um, every step of the way on this, uh, well, it's been my 25 year journey of recovery. We've kind of established a residential long-term rehab facility. And uh, if, if my kids are out there watching or listening, you know, don't be grossed out. You know, just be thankful that either your dad or I was always there when you got off the bus in the afternoon. Right. Thanks so much.